Hello, my name is Aiden Rangifo, and my presentation today will be about snow. Snow is cold. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. When you think about snow, you might think about theme parks and man-made snow. Or you might think about snow you see from far off in the San Bernardino Mountains after a winter rain. But what do we really know about snow? First off, not every snowflake is the same. Science calls this emergent design. Emergent design is constructed as it evolves. To me, it sounds like a fancy way of saying that science does not want to point out the obvious design in snow because it would suggest a designer. Here is the, in this room, we all know who the designer is. Anyway, the idea that snowflakes aren't the same comes from a 20-year-old man in 1885 named Wilson Bentley. Bentley conducted experiments by, with snow by catching snowflakes under a microscope with a camera and presto, your first snowflake. Snow forms when you remove heat from water and the water molecules settle into place. Small dust particles catch water particles and form tiny hexagons which create something called diamond dust. After this process, a random change takes over which turns a snowflake, turns into a snowflake. It's so random that each formation is never the same. The main reason science believes no snowflake can be the same is a little more complicated, but let's just say that it involves an isotope called deuterium. Deuterium is found in 300 out of every million molecules in water. It contains an extra neutron, which is where we get deuterium. Needless to say, no snowflake can be possibly be the same. And because we are made of mostly water, you are also unique in every way. Thank you. Thanks for